Hey guys, so I shared with you in a haul recently that I purchased my very first Tom Ford lipstick and in the haul I had done a little swatch and I'd had a little play around with it but I hadn't actually worn it because I was sharing it to share with you guys and show you it in all its glory before it had been wrecked by putting it on my lips and all that kind of stuff. So today is the first day that I am wearing the lipstick and so I thought I would do kind of like a first impressions video for you. I've not done one of these before so I thought it might be something just a little bit fun and a little bit interesting. So the lipstick that I got was one of the original Tom Ford's and this is just the lip colour in number 17 and it's Violet Fatale and as I said it is the lip colour that I've got on now. Um, these are pricey, these are £34 so they are not your average lipstick and it has taken me a long long time to come to grips with the fact that I wanted to purchase one but having tried the eyeshadows and one of the blushes and fallen so in love with them and seen the quality I felt a little bit safer in giving it a go. Um, also I would like to just point out that I filmed my haul yesterday and I swatched it on my hand and I've had a bath last night and I had a shower this morning and the swatch you can still just see the stain there on my hand so I think this little booger is going to be pretty damn long lasting so that's the first thing I think it's going to be really long lasting so for £34 maybe it will be worth the money right so packaging wise absolutely gorgeous it feels heavy it feels classy um, it's got a really nice clasp on it so you know it's nice and secure if it's knocking around in your handbag it's not gonna fly off and get ruined in a heartbeat I said as well in my video I think it looks like old Chanel packaging almost like the little bottles of Chanel number no. five that they used to do with the little pumps I think they still do those anyway this is the shade that I got and this is Violet Fatale as I said let's do another little swatchy swatchy to show you now it is really really creamy it feels moisturizing my lips don't feel dry they don't feel heavy they just feel really nicely comfortable they don't feel like greasy or slicky almost either like some lipsticks it's like um what is it hue from mac if i put that on it just makes my lips feel greasy which is really random i know um i don't get it with any of the other colors it is just hue so really weird but with this i don't have that feeling at all just going to put a little bit more on so you can see it almost feels more like a gel rather than a cream or a lipstick it just feels really comfortable really nice um, I think this is gonna last me pretty much all day so I don't think it's a lipstick that you would need to touch up frequently I am gonna be having some lunch shortly so I'm gonna go away have my lunch and stuff and then I'm gonna come back and we will have another little look at it and see how it wore and all that kind of stuff. Impressions are that I think this is going to be a great lipstick. I think it's going to be something I'm really going to enjoy that is going to be one of the luxurious items in my makeup collection that I probably just reach for for special occasions or something like that but it would the reason I picked this colour it is a bolder colour but for me this is the sort of colour that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of I did an awful lot of research before I took the plunge and chose my colour um, because I didn't want to go for something too similar to what I already had but at the same time I didn't want something too out of my comfort zone that I would never wear it and the problem with me is some nudes I'm just never going to wear them because they make me feel almost like I've been dug up it has to be just the right nude and I have to play around with them quite a lot to get really confident with them whereas with this lipstick right, so I'm going to go away now and I'm going to have lunch and I will be back in a little while to see how this has held up on both my lips and probably my hand although I might remove this because I don't want it getting everywhere and that could be a little bit annoying anyway hey I'll guys. see you soon so I am back it has been two hours and one lunch later so you can see it's definitely left a little bit of a stain on my lips they don't feel dry or anything they just feel pretty normal pretty lip like and the colour feels like it's probably just going to be what sort of left type of thing. So I am pleased it has got a little bit of a staining ability as well. And for my lunch I had yummy noodles. So I think that was a pretty hardcore sort of like test on it. So all being said, do I think these lipsticks are worth £34? Am I impressed? In all honesty, they're a little piece of luxury and they're not something that I'm going to rush out and collect all of them. But if there was another colour that I liked, I would take the plunge because it feels really beautiful. It's, as I said, my little piece of luxury. I'm never going to be a rock star, but I can have rock star worthy lips with these lipsticks. Um, 
So if you really, really feel like treating yourself and you really want to splurge, then in all honesty, I do think you could do a lot worse than treating yourself to one of these little beauties. So anyway, that was my first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you like this type of video and you want me to do more, please let me know. Leave a comment or send me a tweet or Instagram or anything like that. Anyway, have a fabulous day. I hope it's sunny where you are and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.